you could potentially pour this new candle on your date. I don't swing that way, Jax. I don't either. <laughs> I do. Be bougie on a budget. Jax is back. Ba 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 ba. What's up, guys? Jax Austin, my buddy here, is back, and I'm back. He is going to teach us how to do what? We're gonna make soy candles on a budget. Now, candles are everything. You know, my my uncles taught me years ago, Jim and Scott. I love you. That you know, it's all about ambiance when you're entertaining. And one of the great things to add to the ambiance is lighting and candles. Couldn't agree more. Candles could be so expensive. It's crazy. I, if you ever buy them, they could, they could be ten, twenty, thirty, a hundred dollars. But see, this is bougie on a budget. All right. We need a few simple things. Let's break it down. Wax. Okay. It, this is 100% soy. You can go to a local craft store, a candle store, or of course you can go to Amazon because they have yeah, everything. Yeah, online. Uh, you have wicks, and then you have wick clips, which sort of weight the wick down in uh, the candle holder. And then yes. we also need whatever jar. Today we're using a mason jar. These are so inexpensive at Target or anywhere. Something that I learned is the size of the wick matters. You know, sometimes they say size doesn't matter. In this case. Size matters. Size matters. Larger wick, larger flame, burns faster. Which I don't like. So we are actually using a smaller wick, which will burn more slowly, so you can get more use out of the candle. This could probably burn for 24 hours. That's huge, because a lot of times candles That's what will she last. Said. <laughs> so first step is melting the wax. That's right. So uh, normally we use a double boiler. Today we're using a mason jar, and it's a great way. And just remember that it melts about 50%. So. The wax is melted. Now we want to make sure the jar that we're making the candle into is warm. So it doesn't crack when it hardens. See? The, the things you learn. Now, so we have a nice warm mason jar that's dry on the inside. So now we're going to add some fragrance. Use maybe about a tablespoon of essential oil. You can use any essential oil at the health food store. Lavender. Um, yeah, and it's really eucalyptus. great. Eucalyptus. It's 100% natural, so if you want to pour it on your body afterwards, yeah, buddy, let's get kinky with that. <laughs> it makes for an awesa-me massage oil. I love that, because the other wa waxes or candles most often are not natural, so you don't really want that all over your body. Swirl around and pour. The wick looks like it's like bending a little bit. How do we keep it centered? You just put any two things, could be chopsticks, butter knives, and okay. put it on uh, the left and right side. Okay, or maybe two pieces of tape, you know, scotch tape going side, you know, side by side. That's it. Yeah. Well, Jax, you're awesome for teaching us how to do this. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for having me. Guys, be sure to check out Jax Austin's channel. We'll have a link to that. And uh, comment below, like the video, and share it. Yeah, sure. Share, sure, share. You're short on time with just a dime. Oh, no! I've got you covered from Kitchen Axe. To quick life hacks, easy does it. Be bougie on a budget. <laughs>